we did all these amazing things with these people I'd only just met um and I ended up flying home and I was just like it was probably apart from that traveling in you know it was like the most amazing magical trip um I saw that you went away this year you you must have had a crystal ball or something because you went away to Bali is it was it in January yeah went away to Bali end of Jan so obviously like I have this thing about traveling alone which I would recommend to anybody because the first time I traveled alone was to Australia and um I made so many friends and had like the best time um when I went the second time even though it was amazing equally as amazing you are you don't have that fear factor that pushes you out of your, your comfort zone you have to come out of your shell when you're on your own so um I remember work got super stressful and I was done over I was just like Oh, I just needed a break from everybody, everything, even my personal life. I just needed like a separation from everything. And um, I had always wanted to go to Bali. I'd never been. Um, I found this amazing resort um, called Karma Group that one of my friends had told me about. And I got in contact with them. I said, I'm coming on my own. They recommended where I could stay. They really looked mm. after me. And my God, it was just like for the first four days, I didn't speak to another soul. I didn't go on social media. Mm. Um, I had like saved up money for this holiday. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to indulge. Um, so it was like the the Balinese people, I'm not joking when I say this, are so nice. They're the mm. nicest people I've ever experienced. The nicest culture. It was just like, it was so wonderful everywhere I went, whether that be like by the beach in a kind of commercial hotel or like um, Ubud, which is where I moved yeah. to eventually in the city, um, in that sort of, you know, township. It was just like, they were so amazing. And like, that was like, for me, I remember, I remember laying on the beach. There are two songs that I will send you. Mm-hmm. One of them is by Ray Lamont. Han. I don't know how you actually say his surname, but I used to listen to him at university. So that was like 10, 12 years ago. Mm. And this is one song that came on and I was lying on the beach and I was listening to it and I was like, wow. And I shazammed it immediately. And it comes on my um, playlist all the time. And it always takes me back to Bali. Yeah. And I'm like lying on that beach thinking about it. Um, I've never experienced so much freedom. I was like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm just going to be on my own. And it was amazing. Then after four days, I was bored. <laughs> and oh, I was really? like, I was like, I want to meet people now. I'm yeah. bored. Of, I've, I haven't spent four days not speaking to anyone in my life and not bored of the surroundings, but I, again, I wanted human contact. So I was like, right. Mm. So went back to the hotel. I'd only booked to go there for a week, which is an error because Bali is such a long way away. Mm. Um, so I, I went back to my hotel room and I got ready for a night out. And I was like, I'd been thinking about it all day and getting myself like really hyped up and excited. And I, and I, I was like, right, you know what? let's go and explore and I put the first post out on social media to sales in Bali and I had all these messages from people going oh my god you've got to try this place this place and I was like mm. I haven't left my hotel for four days I've not got enough time for this what what am I doing I need to explore so anyway got home had a shower put a nice dress on walked out of the hotel walked along the beach took my camera I had like do you remember that camera that I bought that you recommended yeah the uh, Canon 60D 60D that was it yeah I'd never used it since I bought it. Do you remember I had all these plans? I was like, we're yeah. doing YouTube videos myself. I never used it for anything. So I took it to Bali and it's the first time really that I'd learned to use it for proper photos, not for mm. filming. Walked along this beach to the, to the next hotel where it was like this, this really cool um, beach bar. I sat down, ordered food on my own, got a cocktail, was taking photos. There were fire shows, all sorts. Anyway, um, this girl came up to me and um, she was a German girl, Teresa. And she went, hi, sorry to interrupt. Just wondered what you ordered because it looks amazing. And I was like, oh, it's this, this and that. And she went, are you on your own? And I was like, yeah, I am. And she went, oh, me and, and this girl, Addie, she's also a single traveler. We've just made friends. Do you want to join us? Oh, that's nice. So anyway, long story short, I joined them. I extended my flight um, for another five days. I went to Ubud. I stayed in a wicker like literally just like a wicker hut. Um, we we traveled around Ubud. We went to all these temples. Um, we went into the sea. We we did like, we learned how to make coffee. We did all these amazing things with these people I'd only just met. 
um, and I ended up flying home and I was just like, it was probably apart from that traveling in, you know, it was like the most amazing magical trip. And it was just, it, can't, it, it was proof to me that I was like, I can still go somewhere on my own and back mm. myself to, to go out, make friends, have a great time and, and you know, exploit that time that I have.